Hello and welcome to a new playthrough, Call to the Lamb. I was initially interested in this title when it was announced uh, what feels somewhat long ago. Um, I was initially going to do my playthrough of this on um, PC, but for some crazy reason it keeps um, uh, crashing or force closing itself. So playthrough number one of Call to the Lamb will be on the Switch Edition. So to the developers of the game, you're very welcome. I've already purchased it twice. <laughs> um, I'm going to adjust the volume here though. So uh, I just want to keep it to where you can hear it to an extent, but not to where it's not to where it's drowning me out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get it in. New save. Nothing like, uh, you know, starting your very first cult. Praise the Lamb, conduit to great power, promised liberator of the one who waits below. Yet sacrificial beast take heed, for a crown cannot sit upon two brows. Sure. We're about to see uh, what life is looking like here. Um, I'm guessing this is this is pre pre cult. I am without my cult yet. Yep, yep. I am cultless. It's cold. A homie over here is having a bad day. I'm having a bad day. So, you know what? We're just gonna leave him alone. Hey guys. No. Okay. No. Friends. Okay. No one wants to be friends. It's fine. A game by Massive Monster. Devolver Digital. Publishing King. So many good titles under them. Kneel to be sacrificed. Sounds like a good idea. Let's get let's get with it. Before us stands the last of its kind. All others we have hunted down and put to the blade. With this final sacrifice, the prophecy will be impossible to fulfill. The heretic who lies bound below will be condemned to eternal captivity, and the old faith shall be preserved. Okay guys, I'm just ready to die, so let's get it on. Let's get it on, let's get it over with. This doesn't, um, this is not what I imagined being sacrificed would look like. <laughs> We're walking and rolling. Is this who they're talking about? The one who waits. Come closer, fear not, for thou, you are already dead. I still have need of you. When's the last time anyone said they need you? Those foolish bishops thought they could keep you from me in death, but instead they sent you straight to me. I will give you life again, but at a price. All I ask is for you to start a cult in my name. Do we have a deal? Absolutely, sir. Giving me a new lease on life. And a new hat to go with it, apparently. It's looking good. I'm looking good. Let's start this cold life. Whoa, what's up, guys? Haven't seen you in a few seconds. Uh, I'm a cult leader now. Gonna do so many cult-like things, like kill people. Usually you have the people kill themselves, but whatever. We'll figure it out as we go along. Missed. You missed as well. Um, you did not miss, but you still get to die. What is a cult leader to do now that he's free and sees, sees things in a new light? Um, we go here. Okay. Okay. 
Ratau? Fear not, I am Ratau. I was once a chosen vessel like you, but those days are lost to the winds. I was sent to guide you. We are deep in the lands of the old faith and in grave danger. My instructions are to lead you to safety. Continue through the woods. Escape lies ahead. I will be close by. Thanks, me friend. Or foe. Um, I guess we'll find out in due time. Get out of the woods. Understood. Got it. Hello, me friends. Start a cold, guys. You want to join? No? Okay, well. I don't say I didn't offer. Look at he's so jolly. <laughs> um, we got a whole coin. Rich. Thanks. What shall I ever do with my whole new one coin? I was trying to break bones to see if he would give me anything. Uh, die. That bird was probably innocent and didn't have to die, but you know, gotta test out uh, my new cult like powers and natures. I know it's early to say, but it feels very uh, roguelike. Like a roguelike. Uh, you know, like a Binding Isaac, jump through the rooms, very particular art style. What's well, a nice style though? What is this door? Wait, I didn't. I wasn't done exploring there yet. Okay, we'll come back because I saw another way I wanted to go. For I gotta find someone that wants to join my cult. I know they're out there somewhere. Uh, it's probably none of these guys. These guys don't look like they particularly like me too much. But I've got seven coins now, so I'll be able to find my cult in no time. Okay, well I think we cleared this area, so let's be gone. All coins gathered. Um, a person kneeling on the ground looks like our first victim. I mean, um, follower. Ratau, we have nearly reached safety, but look ahead. Another poor soul about to be sacrificed. Rescue them, and they would have no choice but to join your new cult. Oh, mighty bishops of the old faith, we ask you to accept the sacrifice of this wretched soul. Hey, who interrupts our ritual and trespasses on sacred ground? Me. It was me. Ah, I don't know why I didn't roll. Just sitting there taking hits. Just because I'm in the cold doesn't mean I'm invincible. Hey, I saved you. I think you should join me. It's okay. Don't be scared. Did I frighten you, child? Give him like handsome vibes from Scary Movie 2. Follow or wait and draw indoctrination. That's what we like to hear. That's the things are really taking a turn around here. Let's go greet our uh, our new um, soon-to-be indoctrinated follower. Or we find Ratau yet again. We have reached safety. You have done well. The red crown will allow you to use those markings on the ground to transport yourself great distances. I like how he's just, he's vibing. He's like, bruh, I was sad like two minutes ago, and now I'm a cult leader with a hat. Or a red crown. A hat regardless. Does a crown count as a hat, count as a hat or does a hat count as a crown? It will take you to a temple that has fallen to ruin. There you will be able to begin your new cult. Take me to it. I will meet you there. All right, let's go see our new cult grounds. It's not every day you get a new lease on life. Cleanse the non-believers in five minutes. All 33 of you. 
and more to come. If you don't join, you get axed. As they would say in a good burger, you're going in the grinder. Here we are. Please select the difficulty. Don't worry, you can change the difficulty at any time in the settings menu. I think since this is our first playthrough, I'll probably go through this on medium so we can kind of enjoy it, still have a bit of a challenging coast, and then if I'm ever able to get the PC edition working, we'll do that on hard or extra hard. So medium to start for playthrough number one. And the Cthulhu pack is activated. Now that's about as far as I got before the PC version crashed on me and it gives you the chance to turn all your little people into Cthulhu people. I'll show you. Is it bad up? This hollowed crown, which once was mine, is now yours. I wonder does that make him um, jealous of me? This crumbling ruin is to be the site of your new cult. We have much to do. We begin by indoctrinating this poor soul into the warm embrace of your cult. Let's let's do it. Where is he at? It can't be too bad. Look, there's like weeds and butterflies. Followers can gather resources for you. Order this one to collect wood, lumber, or lumber, I guess. Lumber or stone. That was kind of weird. Okay. Anyways. Hey, hey, buddy. Let's go. Let's go be a, a good guest to our new uh, neighbor. Hey, guy. Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. Habrino? Habrino, huh? How long of a name can I give you? Um, I have an idea for this cult. If we ever get to name our own cult. So, and I've got names taken down for what I'm going to name these people. I've been thinking about this. I've even got a couple of uh, people playing this game. Let's see. Where is my list of names? Okay, we are going to call him Commodus. If you know what that name is from you may slightly be following along to the cult that we're going to create. Or at least it's who it's in relation to, Commodus. Okay. You are now Commodus. You will also look like a little Cthulhu guy. Perfect. Commodus, what color do I want to make you? My loyal Commodus. Let's make you... These colors look very much the same. We're just gonna go with that. And, ooh, what Cthulhu variant do we want you to look like? Well, these look the same. I don't notice a difference. Is that a bug? Do I want, like, the side ears or the top ears? Um, let's go with the, let's go with the side ears. That's that's how we're rolling. Traits. Zealous. Ignores ignores dissenters when they preach. Can't be doing that, bro. Work and devotion. Oh, sloth. Work and devotion. Generation speed reduced by 10%. And faithless. Generates devotion 15% slower. Bro, we gotta put... We gotta um, restore some faith into you. Um, we'll have to see how we can fix that. Okay. Had to close my list of names for our soon-to-be cult. Except, <laughs> Commodus, you're an official member of the cult now. And as your first job, I want you, I want you to, to go ahead and mine me some stone. And I'll take care of chopping trees. By your hand, our cult will grow powerful, but your followers cannot live on prayer alone. They must eat. Gather the necessary resources and build a cooking fire. It will allow you to prepare meals for your followers. Probably build more followers in this game than I have in real life. I don't have a cult in real life, though. So you can pick berries. Am I doing this right? Do I hold it? Yeah, you just hold it. Okay. We're... You gotta start somewhere in your cult. Sometimes you gotta pick berries for a while before you can gain an audience. Sometimes you gotta mine, like mine your business. Bad pun. 
getting some lumber. Getting more lumber. You know, I hope I'm gonna look at look, new lease on life already. Look, I'm just running around, having a time. He's even got his first official shirt, unofficial merch for the cult. Really doing his job and spreading the message, even if no one's looking right now. More lumber. Do we do we okay, time to go build that cooking fire. Once we chop this tree. We don't waste around in this cult. Um, we make use of all of our resources. I feel like the cooking fire should be like close to the entrance. So you know when you're coming when you're teleporting back from a day's questing, you don't have to run far to find the food. It's close to the entrance. So, oh, we can style and profile this. Should I put, the, yeah, let's do it like that. Let's place that. Cook and fire placed. We're gonna build this thing. Your followers need to eat and it's up to you to provide meals for them. The hunger of your cult can be seen on the top left of the screen. When this gets too low, followers will begin to starve, like Patrick Star when he eats all his chocolate. Find more food while crusading. Pick routes that pass through foraging locations. Plant farms to grow your own food. Seeds can be purchased or found whilst crusading. Perfect. Eat. Time to eat up my little colt with this fine meal that I made by hand. Yours truly. That's a solid meal if I've ever seen one. Now we must build a shrine, but first we will need more followers and more gold. Both of which can be found when crusading through the lands of the old faith. Our mutual benefactor, the one who waits, has been trapped by the four bishops of the old faith. Each of them guards a chain that binds him to the realm beyond. We have conjured openings to the realms. It is your task to track them down and slay them so that he may be free. Now go. There you shall find gold and willing recruits. And for those who are not willing, convert them by force. That I'm, Okay, we're on the same page. I'm feeling you, bro. Let's go. Um, Commodus, hold it down, bro. You keep um, running around and picking shit up. Appreciate you. We're off on an adventure. Hello, birds. I killed one of your brothers on accident earlier on. I apologize. Through the green door we go. The dark wood. Hey, Commodus. What's up, bro? Singing his little songs, preaching his little his little speech. You get to be uh, powerful in said cult. That's that's what we like to do around here. Kind of just making all this up as we go. Loading, loading, loading. Still loading. The dark wood. What do we got here? Apostates, cleaver, an axe. Oh, right. Look at his little rage face. He's so adorable. Look, do I get some grass? Because you know I might have some cows. I don't know if that's a thing, but maybe my followers like to eat grass. Entering the lands of the bishop Leshy. Leshy. Those who do not follow the ways of the old faith will be destroyed. They'll get wrecked. I suppose. No, oh, okay. The door's in the way. It's upwards and onwards. Found a new axe, guys. Need some bodies to sharpen it on. Uh, hi. Leshy, how can this be? You were put to the blade, lamb, as all of your kind were, and yet here you stand before me, unrepentant. This, the crown, his power, could it be? But I am stronger still. Turn tail and run, little lamb. I don't know who you're calling, little. An axe. Lucky you just ran away. 
Oh, I think it's you guys. Little stubborn butts that didn't want to join my cult. You gotta like time the axe swing because um, it's not the fastest, but it hits hard. More coins for my followers. More grass. Some bodies that were in the grass. Interesting. More pukes to kill. And they're all dead. And I get paid handsomely for it. We're gonna be so rich. One coin at a time. Hey, you are Clawneck. Praise the Lamb, conduit to great power, promised liberator of the one that waits below. So the card showed me once, many lifetimes ago, or has that yet to be? Mm, ominous. I have always drawn your cards, Lamb, and yet this is the first. Take these cards, and I will draw another each time we meet. When drawn by me, they will grant you power. What power? Well, that is both known and unfathomable. The cards, they shall decide. Okay. So we get the lovers or the hearts. So you gain an extra heart or gain an extra half heart or you gain a blue heart. Um, I'll take a blue heart because I don't know what's... Let's do it. We're going with that. All is as it should be, as it ever was, as it always will be. Deep. Bye. See you soon. Hey guys, I got my card drawn. You guys are just jealous because you didn't get yours drawn. Could have if you would have joined my cult. Could have been chopping grass with me and mining and picking lumber. Oh, what's this? Another card? Gift from below. 10% chance of gaining blue hearts when killing an enemy. Cool. Is it kind of like Binding of Isaac where you kind of have like little extra hearts that get taken before your your actual ones? Did I go the right way? I did. Ooh. Okay. So there's the boss there. Um, we should probably go this way to forage for food. Here we are. Uh, oh, I can just chop them. Don't have to worry about picking one. I can just chop. We got some seeds. We'll be well, well on our way to plant some seeds when we get back. Okay. Well, we can't go mine stuff, which I guess I'm not too worried about. Boss fight time. Here we are. Almost boss fight time. Return with more gold. That we shall. Uh, take that. Give me gold. And I'll take more grass because my colt needs it. Don't know for what yet though. Ah, what happened? Uh. More gold and two ways to go. Let's go down. Hey, it's you again. Are we all but players in this game of chance? Fortune's blessing or telescope. Receive double the health when healing. Or reveal the map. I kind of like the ability to reveal the map. Let's do that. Your cards have been drawn. The path lays ahead. I guess I could have picked the double healing. So I'm assuming if we run into each other every time I go to a new place, it's going to be a new set of cards. But I guess we'll see. Whatever. We're in it for the adventure. No one makes a perfect hole without making a few mistakes. 
All right, more coins. We have 30 coins now. We're really, uh, we're really racking it up here. All right, we've chopped enough. Let's go. Let's do this. Hey, you. You want to join my cult? Or you in someone else's cult? Or... Leshy, you have come far enough, little lamb. My followers are willing to do anything for me. Can you say the same of yours? I mean, I do have Commodus, and he did help me open this door, so I guess so. Amducius, I give myself to the cause, almighty leader. By the blood of the great ones, destroy the red crown. I wish you would try. Oh, you're ugly. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, almost got greedy there. Almost was untouchable. Mmm, take that. Oh, now you're kind of adorable. That's what you get for testing me. Please spare me. Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. Okay. All you had to do is ask. Because that's what we're here for. Ooh, you get stuff. I don't need any more berries. I don't need any stones. But I will take this flower necklace. I don't even know what it does. Follower will generate devotion faster. We can give that to Commodus since he generates devotion like a slow ass. And we got coins. This worked out nicely. Back to our loyal followers. Uh huh. Cool. Back to our loyal follower and soon to be loyal followers. Seven minutes flat. Oh, okay, hey. What's up, bro? Very good, my best It seems I chose well when I kept you from death. I mean, you're right, man. That was like like 20 minutes ago. I'll be watching your every move. Do not disappoint me. Okay. I'll give it my best shot. Well, that was an adventure. We're back! We return with food and money. And a new follower to convert. Convert. I convert. I'm relieved to see you made it safely, and you have not returned alone. You have convinced more to join our faithful flock. I mean, it was, you know, one person, but who's counting? Let us indoctrinate this new convert so that we may continue. Hey, hey, buddy. You ready to join the cult? Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. Well, A, since you're in my cult, you get a new name. Let's pull up the list. We are going to call you... Thomas. Thomas. Do I have room for a last name? I do. Thomas Wayne. That is your new name, sir. You... Do I want to keep you as a little dark wood creature? You, I mean, you are kind of cute. No, everyone's... Everyone's getting turned to Cthulhu people. Unless I change my mind later. Thomas, you're going to be red, okay? And we're going to stick with the program here. We're going to give everyone the little side ear flap things. What are your traits? Naturally obedient, which we like. On recruiting this follower, immediately gain 10 faith. Coprophiliac? Gain 10 faith when falling ill. Okay, all right. Thomas Wayne. Welcome to the cult. Yeah, yeah, I know. Exciting, right? Um, you can chop trees. You guys are handling the work for me. I don't need to be chopping trees. I got a cult to run here. 
followers will either work or worship. Worshiping followers generate devotion for you to collect. But to collect devotion, you require a shrine. Sounds like we're gonna build a shrine, huh, bud? Um, there it is. Ooh, front and center, bam. Shrine has been placed. Let's go build this bad boy. Look at them, they're excited. They're like, bro, we want to help you build the shrine as well. Praise be, your followers can now worship you. That's, that's what we're here for. Here is a new follower. Assign them to worship at the shrine. Then collect the devotion your followers generate at the shrine to unlock divine inspiration. Look at that, a third one. We're growing so fast. What's up, bud? Thor Greena, please spare me. I'm gonna spare that name. You're getting a new name too. Look at that, back to the list. We have Thomas Wayne, we have Commodus. You are gonna be Meryl Hess. Hopefully you guys are um, catching my drift here on where we're going with these names. Meryl Hess. I've only got so many names in this list. Once we run out of them, everyone's just gonna get random names. That's how we're gonna work that. You now get to be a little Cthulhuite. Um, Meryl Hess, we'll make you, we'll make you brown. That seems fit. Um, what do we got here? Materialistic, gain faith when building better sleeping quarters. Lose 10 faith when falling ill, let's, let's not do that. Generate devotion 15% faster. I mean, you're already ahead of Commodus, so. Look at that. We've grown into one big family here. You get to go do some worshiping. We've got everyone else doing the collecting. Divine inspiration. Collect devotion from your shrine. Once you collect enough, you will unlock divine inspiration. The more followers worshiping at your shrine, the faster they will fill up. If the shrine is full, they will stop worshiping until it's emptied. Once you have collected divine inspiration, unlock new buildings for your cult through the shrine. Alright. Hey, Meryl Hess, what you got for me? Give command to your follower, make demands of your follower. So you can give commands or you can make demands. Work interact. Work interact. What do I want you to do? Um, I kind of like what you're doing right now. I think you're doing. I think you're doing good, kid. Where's Commodus? Um, that's Thomas Wayne. Oh, Commodus, where are you? I have a gift for you. If I could ever find you, I don't know how far you could have gone. Um, I have lost a cult follower. Hey, there he is. Hey, bud. I've got a gift for you. This necklace. To my first follower. I appreciate you, and the necklace looks stunning. Um, do I need it? Okay, nope, we don't got to cook yet. Everyone's doing good. We're gonna receive some divine inspiration. We get to build a temple? Establish a temple to reach ceremonies and perform rituals. Let's do it. And now we can make sleeping bags so our peeps can sleep and farm plots so we can farm the things. What do we need for this? How much? I need more divine inspiration. So you guys get to crank in on that and I'm gonna build I'm gonna build our temple. Where is the temple supposed to go though? Do I have everything I need for this temple? I think I do. No, I don't. The structure is only built once, that's fine. Okay. Oh, okay, I see how it reads. We need more stuff. I guess I'll get my hands dirty in the name of our cult. Just gonna sit here and I think I chose the most horrid thing to break. Let's give up on that. Let's start small. That's better. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, okay. We 
have all the lumber we need for the temple. Now I just need to... We don't need berries for anything yet, I don't think. Oh, I started chopping it. I might as well continue. I need to mine. Okay, there we go. We just needed a few more. Was it five? I think it was five. Okay, we should have everything we need for said temple. Um, let's build it. Alright, we have food on one side. So we'll put our temple on the other. That way when you get back, if you want to drop in, it's there. Bam. Temple's been placed. Time to build the thing with my loyal follower over here. Is that Thomas? I think that's Thomas. I'm gonna quickly forget. I just know Commodus because he's brown. No, yeah, Meryl, Meryl is the one here being devoted. The temple is the center of your cult. From there, you will preach ceremonies to grow stronger and perform rituals to mold the fragile minds of your followers. You are responsible for maintaining the faith of your cult. If it falls too low, your followers will dissent against you and eventually leave. Well, we don't want that. Your followers are ready to hear your word. Show them that you are their great leader. Preach a ceremony from within your temple. Let's do the old first. First, let's go ahead and receive this. And then, how much do we need? Oh, we don't have any yet. Okay, we'll do that later. Um, let's go. Let's let's do this. I'm a little shy when it comes to these things. I haven't uh, had to do public speaking in a long time, but I'm <clears throat> gather around. Perform a ceremony, drawing energy from your followers to bolster the power of the red crown. Where are my peeps at? Welcome. Um, yep, I said a lot of good things. Strengthen through the flock. Through the faith of your followers, you grow stronger. Performing ceremonies will draw power from them and allow you to unlock new abilities, weapons, and curses. Followers with a higher loyalty level will generate more devotion. Therefore, the more followers you have and the more loyal they are, the quicker you will gain new abilities. Hearts of the Faithful. What is that? Permanently gain half a heart. We like that. Let's get stronger. Through the faith of my followers. We couldn't have done this without you guys. Okay, yeah. We don't need to read that again. Oh, hey. You are amazing to behold. A natural leader. I see why you were chosen. If you are to guide your cult, you will need to declare doctrines so they, may, so they might they might obey you. God, I cannot talk. Return to the lands of the old faith and seek out commandment stone fragments. With these, you will be able to declare new doctrines. Fair enough. Return to the lands of the old faith, find commandment stone fragments. Okay, well, I think we've got a nice little start on our cult so far. So, we're going to end it there for part one, and follow up real soon with part two. So, thanks. Peace.